I hope you had a fantastic summer, ready for the new academy year. Welcome to House Academy Greenwich. Next week, year 7, 8 and 9, we'll be talking to you about expectations. Our expectations that we discussed with you last year. Today is a very, very special assembly. I just want to give you some good news though. Two years ago, this school, when it was a school, was bottom of the Greenwich League table. Now we need a top. We're in the top two. After a fantastic set of exam results during the summer, 73% of students achieved five A's to C's, including maths and English, when the English exam was the toughest it's ever been. As we said to you, you are just as good, if not better, than any other student in this country. Any other student, you're just as good as all the other students in Harris Federation. We believe in you. You have Lord Harris that believes in you. We got medalist winners. Not all of us in here will win an Olympic gold. But we can get gold medals in our life. Our first gold medal in your life will be your target levels this year as a stepping stone to future gold medals. You can imagine at 14 years of age, if you lose both parents, and your whole life is affected, the resilience that you need to then become the most successful retail entrepreneur of carpets in Europe. That's what Lord Harris became. I'm sure Lord Harris wouldn't mind me saying, at school he was dyslexic, he had difficulties, but look at the success that he is now. And part of that success Part of that contribution that he wants to make to communities is contribute the expertise and the finances to give children the opportunities that he never had. The opportunities that you get from the Harris Federation in your education are outstanding. I told you about them and that's why we wanted to join the Federation because the children of Harris Federation get those opportunities and you deserve them. It's with great pleasure today, and when I ask you to, I would like a, a big round of applause. This is the man that's made, when other schools locally got a new building, the local authority never invested in you, other people never invested in you, we're going to have a new building in two years' time because Lord Harris has. Already, this is some of the opportunities that have been provided for you. So a big round of applause, please, for Lord Hatt. Thank you to all of you, and welcome to your school. Remember, it's your school that we're going to make into a great school. And what, why are we going to make it into a great school? Because we've got Chris, Tom Hinton, and Graham, head principal to help you to make it into a great school, plus all the teachers and the support staff and you. So what we've got to do is make sure you all work together. Now last year's results at this school was unbelievable. I mean to go from two years from 28% to 73 was absolutely fantastic. And why was it happening? children worked hard and the teachers worked hard and made it successful. So I think we should give all the teachers a round of applause for what they did for them. Now, I know what it's like sitting like you were. I remember when I was 14 and I was sitting at Stratton Grammar School, not as big as this school, we had about 400 pupils at the time, and I thought, oh, I'm going to have some boring person coming to speak to me today, when I was sitting there. Well, you've got boring me today, but I hope I'm not as boring as some of those that spoke to you before. Because what I want to talk about is about your school, and what we're going to do for your school. Can we start by saying the new school, the new uniform, and the new badge? You know, Ashley Ralph, stand, Ashley, can you stand up, you know? Ashley Ralph, out of all the students in the school, designed your badge. And well done, Ashley. 
I'm, I promised you when I see you about six weeks ago, I'm going to take a seat. He's a Chelsea supporter, by the way, and I'm an Arsenal supporter. And I promised him I'm going to take him to the football ground at, uh, on the 29th, I think it is, in two weeks' time. And you will go into the dressing rooms and you will meet Arsenal Wenger. But you might not be able to go to the Chelsea dressing room because I can't arrange them. But let's give him a big round of applause.
that was losing £20 million a year to a surplus of £20 million pounds and treating 60,000 more inpatients. It wasn't me, it was my idea. But it was the people that changed it. It gives them ambition. And that's what we've got in our school, is ambition. Motivation and sport. Well, I'm an Arsenal supporter. I'm a director of Arsenal. And I've got to mot motivate those to do well. Because that's one thing that hasn't happened. We haven't won the championship since I've been a director. And we're going to try. But I'm in show jumping as well. And we've won the world championships of show jumping. We've won the European championships. We've won the King George V Cup six times. And if you don't know what King George V Cup is, it's like winning the derby. And I was determined this year to buy a that will win the gold medal at the Olympics at Greenwich. Can you imagine winning the gold medal at Greenwich? And I was lucky enough to have a rider who's only 26. I think he's going to be in the next two to three years the best rider in the world. I'm going to give him the horses to make him the best rider in the world. Well, he was motivated. He only got the horse at Christmas. He spent nine weeks in America. He went all around the country. We were in Europe, jumping in Rome, Rotterdam, the ball, uh, to qualify to get into the team. And what happened? He jumped one of the most important rounds, the third round, and he jumped a clear round. And it meant to win a gold medal. Now that fence was that high. And some of the fences in the Olympics were higher than me and I couldn't touch the poles. So you can tell the dedication to happen. And there he is, a 26 year old, getting his gold medal. And I promise you, in the next time I'm here, which will be in October, I will fetch the gold medal and I will make sure that um, your principal picks the the dozen or 20 of students that have really done well in the first six weeks in the year seven to have the gold medal around their neck and have a picture taken. That, I promise you, which should motivate you to do that. So, what I want to finish on, you are very, very lucky to have a school like this going forward. I am very, very lucky to have such good teachers. I'm very lucky to have Dan, Dan Monaghan, who is our chief executive, who's got the best schools in the country. You are lucky that you are going to do well. You are going to have one ambition I've got for the school. Our best school is Crystal Palace. It's taken them 20 years to get from 9% pass rate to last year, English and Maths, to 92 99.2%. 99.2%. One student just found in maths, so they said about 100%. I'm sure that this school in the next three years, especially year eight and nine, 10 and 11, you're going to hit those numbers and you're going to have fun. Also, I did talk about sport. Sport is very important. Do you know, next year, I thought it was going to be next um, July, we're going to have our sports day at uh, Crystal Palace. I thought it was going to, I'll come back to where I thought it was going to be. Crystal Palace, there's going to be probably 14, 15,000 of the students. Some of you, a small number, came to see last year. They make more noise than they do at Arsenal. They really do. They're fantastic, cheering their own team. And this year, it's even going to be more noise. When we started, we used to have two, about a tenth of the stadium filled. Now, we've got over half. This year, it's going to be three quarters full with just our students. And you'll be competing against all the Harris schools. And you'll be breaking records against them. And what we want you to do is, as well as possible, be number one in sport as well. Because you can do it. Remember, it's not a word like can't. Because if you take the T out of car, it's can. So all of you can do everything. And I'm sure you will. <coughs> Two years' time, 18 months from now, you know where our sports day is going to be? It's going to be, who watched the Olympics from the stadium? Would you believe in two years' time you'll be competing in that stadium? 
was in the sports team. You'll be going to the stadium to watch your school beat all the other schools, all the other Harris schools. So really, the opportunities here are great. There'll be sailing holidays that we, my son, paid for for you to go. Good students, I think it's 30 students. 30 to 40. 30 to 40 students will have three to four days sailing, learning how to sail in the Isle of Wight. There'll be other entries which we will have. My grandson is here there. He will be taken from this school to watch Arsenal to six matches. Well, every school will have six to eight children go to a match and they'll do well. They can watch them play. He can get the players to sign the shirts after, or sign the signatures. And also, you know, as I said, if you get there early enough, you can go into the dressing room if you get there an hour and a half before the match. We can arrange with them. But there's many, many other things. We can arrange for year nine students to go to university, to look to see what the university is like at Oxford and Cambridge. Also, and we're the only school in the country, people who get the grades at 18, who want to go to King's College, automatically get a pass through to them. We've also got Imperial College, if you want to go into medicine, you can go to see that and have a week of um, medicine school with them. And also, and it is one of the best schools in the country, Westminster School, they're doing day releases in the summer holiday school as well, and the Christmas holiday. So the opportunities here for you are fantastic. Now, all I want you to do is work hard, play hard, do the best, and enjoy life. And we want you to have a great, great time. At that. Thank you very much for this. Thank you. Thank you. Shrine's just going to have a word on, the, on your behalf. Thank you. Um, on the student's behalf, the Lord Harris, we thank you for the visit. A round of applause for Lord Harris.